this is so cute i also just got a new phone so cute if you guys want a what's on my iphone um please request it because i'm gonna do it <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel so if you guys saw last week's video you know that I wanted to do a what's on my iPhone video just because I just got a new phone I got a new case and I just really wanted to show you guys I upgraded my phone to the iPhone 12 Pro Max it's literally so big it covers my entire face but I really like it I think it's just so pretty and just so sleek um, I got it in the graphite color just because I think it, the color it's, it just looks so pretty and honestly I think it matches with most phone cases which if we're gonna be honest here I knew I was gonna get a wildfire case um, because I've never gotten one so I was like I'm gonna get a wildfire case I think the graphite one matches with most cases now let's talk about like my accessories first okay so I know this is definitely not for everybody but it's definitely for me so first is my wildflower case I think this one is called the heavenly hearts case I've never had one of their wildfire cases before but I see them literally everywhere on Instagram it's such a pretty case and looks so pretty in mirror selfies if I'm gonna be honest and then this, I actually made it. I really wanted one. I was seeing them everywhere on Pinterest. I was seeing them everywhere on Instagram. And I just really wanted one. I made this one and I really liked it. I got the heart beads. I made them like out of clay. So I chose like the pink, the red, the green, and the white just, like spring colors. But these are my accessories. Again, this is really colorful and it's not for everybody. And this is like really loud, you know, it's just everywhere. And so I know it's not for everybody, but I just think it's just, it looks so pretty. So, okay, so now what you guys are actually here for, let's talk about what's on my iPhone. Screen recording will be right here. To start off, let me show you guys my wallpaper. So this is a picture of a Polaroid of my boyfriend and I. This is a trip that we took. We went hiking and it's honestly like one of my favorite like moments with him days that i spent with him like one of one of my favorite memories in general one of the best days ever to be honest we went on a hike it's like a hike that leads to like a waterfall it was so pretty and he and he knows like that's literally one of my favorite memories of us okay so this is my home page i love how i set up my phone i love how my apps are organized it might not be the most like aesthetic you know i didn't change like the cover of my apps or anything but i think it's very like like everything just works like it just fits together and it works okay that's that's what I like so at the very top I have a widget and it's the month layout with the day I like this one the most and I love that it's in pink I thought the pink was just really cute under that I have messages seven unread messages I'm in a family group chat if you know you know and then I have photos and then I have calendar and YouTube if you're not subscribed you should definitely subscribe and then I have another widget it doesn't do anything necessarily but I just wanted to have a little picture again favorite memory I wanted it right here and then I have another widget doesn't do anything but it's a picture of my boyfriend and I and it's a picture that we took on New Year's Eve and it's also my home screen wallpaper so that's the little like mini version of it and I just think it's such a cute picture and then I have Instagram Twitter Pinterest and TikTok I put all of these together because these are like my most used apps this whole page in general is like my most used apps but these four are at thumbs reach I was watching McKenna's video and she said that these are also like at thumbs reach and I was like I get exactly what you're saying because as much as I have like really big hands my thumb it just makes it so nice you know it just glides so nicely Instagram you guys should definitely follow me Twitter I don't really post on Twitter or anything so you guys don't need to follow me on there uh, Pinterest uh, TikTok, uh, you guys should definitely follow me on there. I'm pretty funny. At the very bottom, I have my phone, I have camera, I have Safari, and Spotify. I'm currently debating if I want to continue using Spotify or if I want to switch over to Apple Music. I'm currently testing out Apple Music, seeing if I even care for it. Leave a comment down below which one you guys use. On the next page, um, they're just apps that I do use, but they're not like my mostly used apps. At the very top, I have TubeBuddy. I'm not that familiar with this app, but I heard it's a really good app if you're a youtuber it's really good to check your analytics and ways to improve your videos so I'm not that familiar with the app yet but I have heard good reviews so I just downloaded it and I still have yet to try it out I put it next to YouTube studio which is a good app and it is an app that I use and most youtubers use it it's a really good app to check your analytics 
and how your video is doing. And then I have FaceTime and Maps. And then I have this widget right here. It's a Pinterest widget. If you click on it, it'll just take you to the Pinterest board that I made specifically for this wallpaper. It's just literally a widget full of sunsets. I like sunsets. And then I have a stacked widget. So it's the calendar, the Apple Music, and then my weather, but I'm not gonna show you guys my location. This is a playlist that I've been listening to on Apple Music. It's just called Chill. I just added a couple songs because again, I'm still dabbling, seeing if I want to use Apple Music and switch over from Spotify. Then I have notes. I have App Store, Clock, and Settings. On the next page, again, more widgets, more pictures of my boyfriend. I'm sorry. At the very top, I have a widget. It's a picture of my boyfriend and I. I think this was on a baby shower and I think it's a really cute picture of us. Next to that, I have iMovie. iMovie does come in handy sometimes if I want to create videos on my phone specifically. So I have iMovie. Then I have Visco. I've been a diehard Visco fan probably since middle school. I think it's such a good app and that's the app that I pretty much only use for Instagram. If you guys want a whole like in-depth like how I edit my Instagram pictures, leave a comment down below. I really want to do that one. Then I have Fonto. Fonto is a really good app. Um, to add any text to images. That's the one that I use mostly for like thumbnails. I use Fonto. And then I have Preview. Preview is a really good app if you want to like plan out your Instagram and see like which images look like good next to each other. Make sure that your feed is more like cohesive and aesthetic. I'm trying to make my Instagram more cohesive, more aesthetic, more pleasing to the eye. So I have been using Preview. And then I have Pixar. Pixar is a really good app just in general. I mostly use it for like collages but like once you know like how to really use Pixar, you can make your picture literally look like anything. Then I have Facetune. Facetune has definitely has a really bad rep. I think we all went through it when we first discovered Facetune thanks to Tana Mojo. I definitely use the smoothing tool on my skin way too much. I think we all had that phase. Thankfully, I don't do that anymore, but I do use Facetune if I want to whiten backgrounds, if I want to like patch something and make something disappear, I use Facetune. Retouch is another good app if you want to make things disappear. I mostly use it for like the floor when there's like gum on the floor. I use it in backgrounds when you can see like outlets or something just weird that just shouldn't belong there. I use Retouch. Um, I downloaded Snapseed because I saw it on TikTok. I saw that it can make um, like pictures like larger. A lot of people use it for like mirror selfies. I don't, it's not really like an app that I use a lot, but it is useful. So I have Snapseed. Lens Buddy. Lens Buddy is really good if you take a lot of self timer pictures or pictures by yourself or you don't have like somebody to take a picture of you. Lens Buddy is really good because you could just set the timer and it'll take as many pictures as you set it to, as fast as you want it to, and for as long as you want it to. You can set all those things manually, and that's what I really like about it. And then I have a widget, again, a picture. This this is the day that we went to the waterfall that's the waterfall behind us on the next page um this is kind of just like a random page like i don't necessarily know where to put these apps at the very top it doesn't look that cool but when i have like everything connected like my airpods or like my ipad you can just see a bunch of little like battery things it's a widget it's the battery widget so you can see like what your percentage is at and i have these folders and this first folder it's the finance folder um i have my schools first wells fargo venmo and paypal pretty boring then i have this one says photo and video. Okay. Uh, Google Photos because that's what I use to back up all my pictures. Gmail. Wow, I have 649 unread Gmails. Gmails. Emails. Duh. P Tracker. I don't know why I put that in here. I didn't know where else to put it. So, P Tracker, it's just to track your period. And then I have Snapchat. I don't know why it's here, but again, I just didn't know where to put it. I don't use Snapchat, so I'm not going to say to like follow me on there because I don't post things. This one says utilities. I have reward style, like to know it, and and symbol pack reward style is like if you've ever seen like a like an influencer when they say like oh this is my shirt like swipe up for the link to the shirt that's what they use they use reward style and then like to know it is the app I don't like saying influencers but you know you get what I'm saying and then symbol pad symbol pad is the app where you can literally just like so cute it's the little like emojis not emojis it's the little like this like these cute little faces i don't even know how to describe them but i like to use them a lot and so symbol pad is the app that i use for that and then on this page there's no apps there's just two widgets uh, pictures of my boyfriend and i this is when we went to a pumpkin patch and we were actually wearing matching outfits we were wearing black pants a white shirt and blue flannels and then this picture is a picture of my parents when we went 
to Mexico. My parents are from Mexico, so um, I have family over there and I love taking trips with them and seeing everybody again. And so I took this picture of them and it's just one of my favorite pictures of them, really. And then on the last page, it's a picture of my boyfriend and I. Literally my home screen picture. But I just think it's so cute and I just like having him there and me just seeing him. And then that's pretty much it, but I do have apps that I don't have on like screens. So on this side, these are like all my apps. So I'm just going to show you like apps that I do have that I like weren't there. So I have like, I have Depop, I have Amazon, I have Unfold. Unfold is good for like stories. That's what I use to like make like cute stories. Dispo, if you guys want to follow me on Dispo, I'll take a picture of you guys. That's the David Dobrik app. I have Dispo if you guys want to follow me on Dispo. But that's pretty much it. That is, those are all my apps that I use and that's everything that's on my iPhone. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That is everything that is on my iPhone. I definitely feel like we're a lot closer. Please comment this emoji to see if you watch to the end. And that is it for today's video. I think in every video, like this flower is just never up. It's just always like tilted and it's kind of sad, but I think it's just part of the vibe now. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I really want Panera Bread.